Hey guys, my name is Mike Saunders. I'm the uh, golf course administrator here at uh, Sailfish Sands Golf Course here in Stewart, Florida. Uh, we are outside on the range here today and wanted to bring you guys a little video uh, to get some general working knowledge of the uh, Top Tracer Range app uh, so everybody can uh, have a, a more fun and enjoyable experience when they come out to the course here. So um, the first thing that I recommend is you know you download the application before you get here. It'll just make your life easier. Um, you do need a smartphone to do this, whether it's an Android or an iPhone. But um, regardless of the phone you have, go on the application store, and you can see here on the screen it's Top Tracer Range. Okay. So once you get it downloaded, you get your account, obviously email address, password, stuff like that. All right. Once you get that set up, we're here on the range. I got my phone on the uh, cell phone stand. I got my uh, range balls here. I'm, I'm ready to go. Okay, so I'm going to open up the application. Okay, and then the next screen that comes up here. There's a there's a lot on this screen. I know, but for 90% of us, I think we want to come out and just hit golf balls and see our numbers and stuff. I'm just going to go ahead and click play now. Right. So from there, it's going to come up, and right before it gets to this screen, okay, it's going to ask us to connect to the Wi-Fi here and also um, to look for our location. Now you can also see on the top there says locate position, um, but in terms of lo our location services, we need to have it on so it knows that we're on the range at Sailfish Sands Golf Course, right? Also allow it to connect to the Wi-Fi. Now we only have one Wi-Fi out here, uh, it's called TRH, so when it prompts you to connect to that, go ahead and allow your phone to do that. Now from there, we're gonna be on this screen, okay? So again, there's a lot on this screen. I'm gonna go ahead and swipe through here. We got warm up. You know, my practice, swing capture, long drive, precision, uh, capture the flag. Uh, we are going to be doing some cool stuff out here, like long drive competitions, closest to the pins, give away some cool prizes, stuff like that. Um, but I, again, I think most people that come out here, they're just going to want to kind of do, you know, warm up in my practice. So what we're going to do from here is we're going to click, you know, my practice. Now it's asking, you know, where are we on the driving range? Are we on mats? Are we on the tee? Like, where are we? So, you know, depending on how we have the golf course set up, uh, you're going to select what's appropriate, whether it's on the mats back there or the grass tee. Today, I'm standing on the grass tee. So I'm going to click that, right? Okay, so don't be confused by this. Okay, it's just asking you to locate where you're at. So go ahead and click OK, right? So now, this is a really important screen, okay? So if I zoom out here a little bit, you can see that this is a map of the driving range, okay? Um, so out there you can see the flags in the back you got the yellow flag there the black flag those are color coordinated with what's here on the driving range okay which is cool so when you're hitting your balls you know where they're going um, so I kind of call this the location screen it's super important because this is the screen where we tell the app exactly where we are in the driving range okay so um, I'm gonna go ahead and at this point I'm gonna need to hit a ball okay and it's gonna tra trace it on there so come over here I'm going to take a little shot here. All right. So I'm going to watch my ball flight there. And then I'm going to come back over here and look. Now, I, I saw my ball flight. Okay. Now you can see this would be confusing when there's about 21 people hitting out here. Okay. So I hit my ball, I, mine's the blue line. You saw it trace out there, okay? Now I hit one shot, that's what that number stands for. I do have a gentleman over here to my right that's now hit four golf balls. His is the red line. So again, you can imagine when there's 21 people out here, there's, you know, you're gonna see all kinds of lines. So you might have to hit more than one golf ball, okay? So the number of golf balls you hit, right, is on the bottom, and then you wanna watch that ball flight. Once you're certain that that's your ball, you know, if you hit four shots off to the right, and you know you've hit four shots and they all go to the right, it's probably you. If you pull four left, you see them on the screen, it's probably you, right? So from there, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in here and I'm gonna go down to that number one, that blue one, and I'm gonna click it. Now it's gonna ask, is it, is it me? And I'm gonna say, yes, it's me, all right? So now we're to the fun stuff here. We can select what club we're using, okay? Um, so for me, I am using a 50 degree uh, wedge here, so I'm gonna scroll. See woods, hybrids, irons. We'll go over to wedges. It's gonna click gap wedge. Now I can actually aim on the screen. Okay, so I can say, you know, I want to hit to, uh, you know, the maroon flag there in the middle at 96 yards. So I'm gonna put it right on that. I click OK. 
All right, so now I'm actually ready to hit some golf balls and see what my numbers are. So I'm gonna bring another ball in here and I'm gonna see if I can get it close to that maroon flag there. All right, I'm gonna watch my ball flight here. It's coming down, I'm a little bit to the right, okay? So I'm gonna come back over here now. You know, if you were looking at the screen, you see the white line there, it actually traced the shot in real time. So I looked down at my numbers here. You can see I carried the ball 116 yards and it was about uh, 25 feet to the right. All right, if I actually pull up on that, that'll scroll up. I can really get all my numbers there. My, my total distance was 115 yards, so the shot had a little bit of backspin. Uh, you can see my ball speed there, the curve, the launch angle. So there's a lot of real cool stuff there. Um, in the bottom right, if you select shot list, you can actually see um, every single shot that you're hitting. Now, I've only hit one shot with, with one club. Uh, so it is important if, if you're somebody that wants to come out here and use this to improve your game and really see your numbers, uh, make sure each time that you change clubs, you change it on the app, right? So I'm gonna go back here and if I swipe that back down, right there where it says GW, that's gap wedge, I can go ahead and click that. And that's how I can you know, make a selection with a, a different club. Maybe I wanna hit my uh, driver or something like that. So I can scroll back through there. So I'm gonna drop that back down. I can also re-aim if I hit the three lines there. If I click that and I wanna go ahead and I can uh, click aim and I can readjust. Maybe I wanna hit it, try to go to the orange flag back there at 150. Um, you know, I can change that up, so. Um, and then if you want to play a different game mode, if you're sick of practicing or whatever, just hit the three lines, go to leave, and then you can go back through and select something, you know, maybe do like a capture the flag or something like that with your buddies out here on the range. So uh, I hope that helps. Um, you know, give us a call at the shop if you guys have any questions. And uh, again, you know, we just wanted to kind of go through everything with you and uh, make your uh, experience more enjoyable out here. So we'll see you guys at the course. Thank you.